Tom is officially starter. Does it really does it change anything in the offensive meeting rooms uh, knowing that he's going to be that guy going forward? No, I, I don't think it does. I think as we know, you know, you always want competition, and that's what makes. Uh, you know, I think that's what makes players better and teams better, and so that competition will continue. We, we know going forward who the starter is, but any moment, next guy's got to be ready, so it won't change anything in the approach. Even what though, is, what has Tom done? I mean, what stood out about him? What has he done to kind of earn that job? You know what? I, I think, uh, I think first, I, I got to credit both of them because they worked together extremely well, uh, communicated, helped each other, just, just as you would want it to be, you know, if you're putting a team together. And, I just think the, the maturity level and the experience that he's had has helped him kind of absorb it a little bit better. And, um, you know, right now, that you know, that's where it stands, and we're excited about it. And I think Chad will keep pressing and pushing, and, you know, that's what we expect of him. How important is it to continually, even though Tom's a starter, continually develop Chad as this thing gets Yeah, this I don't think on. Chad will, will uh, miss a beat in his approach. You know what I mean? I think he's gung-ho, and he's wired into just competing and, and enjoys that. So... I think he'll put the pressure on himself to continue doing the same. I don't expect him to relax one bit. And um, like I said, I don't think there'll be much change in what we're doing moving forward. You know, it just, you know, it, it, it's evident that he's a little bit ahead right now. And so we, we're ready to roll with it. Tyler was talking with us earlier about how he felt he was gaining confidence lately. Does he come off as a, a more confident player than maybe at the beginning of camp? Uh, yes. You know, and, and uh I guess to put it bluntly, he is, and, and we, we put a lot of pressure on those guys. And in, uh, in probably the first five days, we put in uh, the vast majority of you know what we hope the offense would be. Now we'll pick and choose and kind of figure it out from here. But those guys had a lot of stress on on the learning end, and um, I think now you had a few days where you get to repeat those things and feel more and more comfortable with it. You could see it. You could see you know in the in the speed he's playing now. He's game planning. Between this year and last year, was the quarterback with a big arm that Savage had. Does that change things where you plan things or dot full throws maybe? Well, I, I think you're always trying to figure things out, what guys do best, what they feel most comfortable with. And, and I think Brooks does a great job and Paul's done a great job of just kind of being observant to that and, and trying to help guys find and find that, that menu that fits them. What do you think Tom you know, still has to work on for these last few weeks of training? Well, I think it's the same thing. I think you talked about a comfort level earlier and a confidence, and I think that's got to, you know, we're halfway through, you know, and, and we're about halfway there. So we got a lot of growth to, to, to still experience and, and need to keep pushing in that. It's really the details of those plays now. I mean, all, all the – it's all in those. It's all in the details. And, and so, you know, that that's, that's where the pressure comes on. I think that's where the true learning comes on. The lines on the page are expected. It's, it's the other that kind of sets you apart. With uh, Isaac out for a little bit, James and Rashid have gotten a lot of extra opportunities. How, how have they done with those? What have you seen? How have they progressed with those extra they, reps? They've done great. I mean, those guys are competing their tails off. Malcolm also is doing a great job. And, you know, I, I, I think when you're a freshman and you walk in the door and you got to be out there and, you know, AD's grabbing you up and throwing you on the ground and you get back up and you go, you can't ask for more of them. But they're doing the same. I mean, they are, they know where to go. Lines on the paper. Now it's filling the whole thing out. Now it's the details of the plays. It's a true understanding of it. But um, love the, love their approach. Or, or, I mean, could one or both of those guys go out there and, and play in a game? If you had to play in a game tomorrow, I mean, did they come along far enough? Do you have to do that? Yeah, it's, it's very possible. Very possible. And hopefully... By the end of this week, you you know exactly what direction you want to go with that. But yeah, yep. Are you at all surprised with how quickly Tyler's kind of acclimated himself from the high school to the college games? Like you said, you guys put a lot on him. It seems like he's you know done well to get those opportunities. Yeah, he really has. I mean, I've been um, I've been more than impressed with him. Not only his ability, but but who he is as a person, his approach, his demeanor when he does something well, his demeanor when he does something poorly. You know, he just kind of seems to be next play. It's 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 great. What has he done well to get opportunities out there with you know catching passes? From well, I think he's he's made the play when the play's been there. He's played fast. He's uh, his understanding is is what you always worry about, and it's it's really coming along, you know. And he shows a great reception area to catch the ball and speed that he plays at. I mean, he's his chance to be doing a really nice job for us this year. What are some improvements he needs to make in the next few weeks? 
I think it's the understanding. I think it's the adjustment to coverages within the route. I think it's, you know, just truly absorbing it so you are just playing fast and you're not thinking at the line of scrimmage. But but um, it's, it's it's coming fast. Some of the formation shifts, all those types of things can kind of get things, you know, a lot going on. But he's uh, he's absorbing it. He's doing well. Is he going to be used on special teams? I don't know what's your thoughts about that. You know what, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure to, to that point, but I wouldn't be surprised. In a case, in the case of a guy like Tyler, what does it mean to have Devin still around in that student teacher role, so to speak? Yeah, I think it's huge. I think Devin's done a great job of kind of putting himself out there and, and um, kind of being the example. You know, when you talk about the effort level, when you talk about getting a big block, when you talk about doing things right and finishing, you know, he's he's made it a point to be that. And so, um, I, I think it's huge. I think that's a great example for uh, you know for Tyler to follow. What is his next level going into this year, Devin? Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's it. I think I think demanding of himself the consistency. I mean, we've all seen him when he's been off, absolutely off the charts. It's just demanding that all the time. And I think his approach has has uh, created a leadership role for him. Not you know not so much the words, just just how he's gone about his business. You know, in the spring and it carried over right now to fall. And so uh, you know those, that, that's where I think his growth will be. But you've got a guy like Vanessa Garner. How much fun is that for you as an offensive coordinator, just in terms of the different places you can line him up, how you can use him on, on the offense? Yeah, Vanessa's fine. Yeah, he, can, he can do a lot of things, you know, and, and he will. And we got to do a good job of helping him to kind of narrow those things down and feel really good about them. And, you know, whether he's split out or in tight or, you know, th- those are things that you want him to be playing fast at and understanding and have full. So they've kind of been doing everything right now. And, um, We'll kind of help them to find their niches, and but it's you know he's he's pretty versatile. Is that your you know your biggest goal for him? Just get him in mismatches against quarterbacks, that kind of thing. Yeah, and I think um, I think he relishes the fact to come in in line and block, and I think he likes being a playmaker on the perimeter, and you know I, I think that, that those are two positives. You know, some a lot of some guys don't you know like to come inside when they can make plays outside, and they'll do all of it for you. So we'll, yeah, we'll put him in some spots. Is this kind of what you envision recruiting him out of high school? Is this kind of the role you envisioned? And, and back then, what, did you, what sort of things did you like about him? Yeah, I, I, that, that's what I thought. I thought he had, um, I thought he was very physical, and I thought he had um, great speed and ball skills, and it's a good combination to have as a, as a tight end or H-back. Joe, thank you.